Welcome back. A new walkway helping the community remember two boys lost in a tragic car accident last year. But as News 10's Matt Gregory tells us, that walkway is already reaching farther than the family could have ever imagined. On each brick, a different message. Some with facts, some with notes, and others to remember. We thought that creating a memorial pathway would be something very special that would memorialize Noah and Kale and any other any other individual that has played out here or participated out here and has passed away. It's been almost a year since the loss of the two 11-year-olds and just four months since the plans for the memorial began. Now the walkway is finished and ready for opening day come Monday. If you take a walk down the path, you'll see some bricks dedicated from nearby, but others from miles away. Notably, a town attempting to give back to the Worthingtons and Noah after they gave one of their own life through organ donation. We looked at Noah and I looked over at my wife and I said, I said, we have to do it. And Rena looked at me and she goes, she goes, I know, we do. Noah's organs would go to several children and even an adult around the country. His heart would save the life of this girl, Greer Underwood from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Greer is now 11 years old and just last week, she, last weekend, I think it was, she ran in a, in a race, in a one mile race in her town. And it's pretty cool to see that she's doing so well. While she ran with Noah's heart, her mother searched for a way to say thank you to the family that gave her daughter a new chance for life. Luckily, she saw the Worthington's plan for the memorial walkway on Facebook. Dawn contacted me and told me that she sold some bricks. And I was unaware that she was, we were unaware that she was selling any bricks. And so when she said she had sold some bricks, I had no idea that it was going to be the amount that she had sold. In all, Greer's mother sold $3,200 worth of bricks for the Riley Memorial Path. Almost everybody that's bought a brick is, is a person that, I, that we know as a family. And the ones that we don't know are from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And it feels like they're part of our family as well. A walkway that connects not just two communities, but two families into one. In Riley, Matt Gregory, News 10. Very touching story there. If you'd like to buy a brick for the Riley Field, you can go to our website and click on the link for the Riley Little League. The past dedication will be Monday. That's tomorrow at 530 in the afternoon.